Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 4 of the Boatplane build series. In this video, we're going to be adding a jet engine to power the propeller at the back, as well as adding a small fan that we're going to be putting in the front to give us a bit of extra speed when we want it. But anyway guys, as always, I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get started. Okie dokie, so let's start with the engine itself. So as you can tell by the intro, I've decided to go with a jet engine to power this bad boy. Um, now what I thought we could do, we might build it out here on the wing and then we're going to move it over in here. I don't know whereabouts it's going to fit though, how long it's going to be. So we we'll have to work that out as we go. But we might have it sticking up the top here. We might have it hidden away. We'll see how we go. Uh, but let's start building it out here first. So let's go jet. Going to need an intake first. Turn it around. That way we chuck it right there. Compressors next. We'll go just like that. Good. Then what do we need? Combustion chamber will probably do it. Let's turn that around the right way. And there's a little port coming off there as well for our fuel. Okie dokie. And then we're going to need a turbine at the end of that. So we turn it around that way. There we go. That is most of it done. <laughs> Good. All right. So let's grab all of this just like that. And we need to work out how this is going to go. So if we drag it to the middle. Good. Drag it along this way. Okay. It's already starting to stick out. What if we drag it forward? Wow. Well, that's going to come into there, isn't it? What if we come up like... This, would that work? That that might... Well, it's going to come into the cabin, though. Okay, what if we paste it there just for a moment? Let's just merge that all together. Uh, the first problem we got is it's coming into the cabin here, so maybe what we could do if we grab some wedges and we turn them around that way, go along like that. Let's go on both sides for now. And then what if we chuck some of these on the outside of that? That should sort of hide it, actually. That's, that's not too bad, actually. What if we go with that? That doesn't look too bad at all. Then we have the actual compressor up here. What if we make like a little... Opening right here, we'll go along like that. That will allow air to get straight in. And then we've got to somehow cover this all up. So <laughs> what we could possibly do, what if we go with some 2 by 4 turn them around like that. Okay, maybe all this can go. What if we get rid of all that just for the moment? Also, these ports, what if we... We might just move this one more time, turn it around that way. So those should be coming out the bottom. Yes, they are. Good. Paste that back in and we'll merge it together again. Just like that, perfect. And then maybe what if we get some of these one by twos? No, it's one by four. One by two. There you go. We'll go like this, drag that along. It's gonna to come to there. What if we get rid of these? We'll keep on coming all the way to maybe. Oh, maybe just there should be fine. And then possibly, okay, this is a little bit confusing. What if we turn these around that way? Go like that. That fills in the side at least. And then what if we come up a little bit more? If I can get this to go the way I need it to do it, just like that. Perfect, and then we'll go with a 2x4, kind of fill in the side like that, maybe? That looks like a bit of a strange hump, doesn't it? It should be right, let's just keep on going, we can always change it later on. Um, so we'll go like that, yeah, what if we just uh, finish off the front of this first, we go something like this, maybe, and then get some more of these, go along like that. Okay, that's, that's not too bad, it's got a bit of an intake look going to it there. We can paint that black too, might make it look a little bit better. Uh, we'll do the painting afterwards, though. Let's sort out the back of this first. Let's actually get rid of... What if we get rid of... Oh, should we get rid of those? Or maybe not. Let's just get some little wedges first. And if we come along, maybe... Or if we come along... Or not like that. Come along two, and then we can link up just here, can't we? So if we go with some of these pyramids, then possibly put one of those there. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. It is sticking out a little bit. That doesn't look bad, though. I don't mind it. Then we just need to sort out what we're going to do back here. So maybe if we get rid of all of that mess, we'll grab ooh, some of these ones, come down like this. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go for one by four. And if we come up under here, if we go down like that, that doesn't look too bad, I don't suppose. By the time it's painted, it should blend in pretty nicely, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's go with that, then we'll do some painting afterwards. Then we've got some ports under here, so fuel. Oh yeah, by the way, next episode we're going to do the fuel tank. So we're going to rip apart all the wings, put some wing pieces in, and make it all hollow inside so we can fit some fuel in the wings. Should be pretty cool. So what we'll do, uh, let's just put our pump and that on here ready for next episode. So if we grab a pipe, go around that way, perfect. And then we'll go for pump on there. Grab one of these ones, turn it around that way. Now is that... Out. So it needs to go this way. There we go. Perfect. And we'll just leave that like that. Then we have the power coming out of here. So we need to make that go to the propeller at the back. So maybe if we open up a little area just here again, get rid of that. And we need to start going inside towards there, don't we? Okay, so this is also got to go to the front. So we're going to put a fan at the front. So a TP should do it. Put that right there. So we'll go back and then down and towards the front. Okie dokie. Good. Then let's get a straight piece. We'll go like that. 
perfect link it all together like so oh you know what we should do we should put a gearbox in here actually it's probably a good idea go like that perfect and then that comes out the back now we just got to connect all of this together so if that comes around that way good get rid of that one go that way and let's go back to pipes get an angle turn that around that way and that needs to link up to there okay not bad not too bad not great but not bad <laughs> uh, we'll go like that good and let's go with a two by four so we do actually have a bit of a hole just there so let's just very quickly grab a block and fill that one in and we'll go back for our two by four and go like that all right that that should look a bit better when it's painted if not we'll sort something else out there but for now that should be a-okay now we're just going to put that on pause for a second let's go up the front here now these propellers need to be able to turn so now that intake parts in the way there so if we come back an extra block Go along like this. That should meet up right here. Okay, good. Let's get our pipes out and connect these together now. Go out like that. Perfect. And now these are not actually going to do anything in as far as propelling us goes, but we do want them to spin so it looks cool. So let's go with an angle and fill in this area just like that. So they will be connected to the engine as well. So what if we grab a T-piece and get that ready just like that? Perfect. So that's ready to go. Now we need to put a fan in the front for a bit of extra propulsion a uh, large ducted fan will we fit one of these in probably not that is absolutely massive isn't it <laughs> let's just use a small one that'll probably be more than enough so how do we do this we turn it around up oh, that way yep like that is that is that correct where's the port on that though is that on the bottom now yep there it is okie dokie so if we grab a pipe then that should be able to come backwards and head towards the engine okie dokie that's good. What if we chuck a gearbox on there? We'll go like that. Then we'll put a clutch on it as well. Grab one of these. Chuck it right there. Perfect. Okay. And these can just spin all the time with the engine, I suppose. So we probably don't need a clutch on these, do we? Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to pipes. And we'll go like this. So we're just going to have one single pipe go towards the back. So that will go up to the fans at the front here. With the little propellers that don't do anything come up like this turn this that way and join them up here with a little baby angle piece just like that very good and now we just need to run this pipe all the way back so will this fit under here it should do let's go like this to, oh did i just do something wrong no turn it that way there we go okay good now let's go all the way back here let's drag that here good we should clear all these dodgy pivots everywhere <laughs> laying around the place so bring this all the way back to here that should be just about the back. Yes, it is. Good stuff. Okie dokie. So that needs to connect up to that one, doesn't it? Okay. So maybe with this one, if we just come up that way. Nice. And we'll come all the way up into underneath the fuel pump, I suppose. Why not? Go like this up to here. Nice. And grab an angle. Connect this up to the back. And we need to meet up here, don't we? So we turn that one that way. Okay. This is actually working out really well. I'm happy with it. Drag that all the way to there. Okay, so can we see what's going on? It sort of comes down all the way to the front, runs the fan, runs the two fake propellers, and that should all work, actually. One thing we do need to do, though, just realize is this engine is not sealed up anymore, so we actually might have to run some blocks underneath here. Okay, so we're just going to quickly change something, actually. So I'm actually going to delete this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a regular pipe. I'm going to come down one more like this and get rid of that one. Get an angle and we're going to meet them up under here and we're going to do the same with the pump as well just so we can seal off that engine to the outside world so no water leaks in good and we'll just um grab the pump and the pipe behind it can i grab that there we go good perfect move it grab it down move it one block good and then we're going to need a straight pipe connect it up to there and merge these together nice and then we just need to put some blocks underneath so it's sealed up good uh hmm this bit here could be a bit of a problem too. What if we just get rid of that one and we just make the seal come down here a little bit? Okay, so if we go like this, yep. Okay, as long as it seals up, I don't care what it looks like. Go like that. Yeah, that, that should be sealed up, I'm pretty sure. We do have that T-piece in there though, don't we? We could just make that a full block, couldn't we? Yeah, it should be right. That doesn't matter. That should work. Then we just got to go along the edges like this, along up here. And do the same with the front. I can't see in here. So we'll just seal up underneath here like that. And there should be a couple more left just like so. Okay, okay. That should be all sealed off. Uh, I think we'll just quickly double check it. That should be all good. 
So have a little wedges running down there. That should be fine. Awesome. So what we could quickly do before we get into all the controls and whatnot, let's just give everything a bit of a paint. So we need to make this look half decent if possible. Okay, that's all going to be black. Perfect. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, so we'll continue the black around like this. Come all the way down to there. We'll put our blue in like so. And we've got a little bit more black down the bottom. Okay, that's blending in so far. I'm not, I'm not happy with that bit though. Nothing I can really do about it unless I make that... If I make that white, it has a bit of white just there, and I don't like that. So maybe, what if we put another black line along here? Would that look okay? That will go straight to the intake as well. Maybe, I don't know, man. We'll just try it and see what it looks like anyway. A little bit of black in here. And we could just go with that little bit on the top like so as well. Maybe that piece as well. Yep, okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. And we just got that little bit there. Oh, I don't know if I like it. I might leave it for now. I don't know if I'm happy with it though, but it should be fine. Everything else is pretty good, I believe. Yep, okie dokie. So, now we need to get our PID control sorted for this, don't we? So, let's go PID into white so we can see what we're doing. Good. What if we just chuck it in the back here? We'll put it right in the back like so. Alrighty, now i got to fill this in. Uh, I think it's 0 0.1 and then 0 0.1234 and 1. I think that's... I think that's right. I might have to double check this afterwards. 0 0.1 and then we just leave the bottom one as 0. I might be wrong. It should be fine. <laughs> All right, let's get a constant uh, on signal. We'll chuck that right here. Connect that with that one. Okay, so the control output needs to go to the combustion area, I think. Yeah, okay, that's the only one we can go to, so that must be it. Good, and the process variable, I think, goes to the compressor RPS. Yep, just like that. And then lastly, we have our set point. We're going to need a throttle for that one, aren't we? Grab a throttle, we'll drag that all the way to the front. Now this, like I said in the other video, this won't be permanently just here. This is just there for testing purposes, so we can wire everything together. So we're going to bring that all the way down to there. Perfect, so that's all hooked up. Nice. Um, now, what do we want the maximum to be on this? What if we just go a maximum of 100? We'll turn the sensitivity down to a little bit lower so it works a bit better. And this will be throttle just like that. So while we're at the front here, let's just add a couple of dials in. Let's go right in here like this. Good. So we might grab another one of these display pieces. We'll just chuck it. Oh, we'll just go on the one side. Why not? We'll just go right there for now. Um, so we're going to need a couple of dials on this bit. We're going to go up, yes, right there. And that will display a maximum of, I suppose, 100 should be fine on channel one. And the second one can be the temperature. And that can display a maximum of... 100 i can't imagine it i don't know does it get hotter than that it, it definitely probably does actually it's a jet engine and the other two we're going to sort out next video or the video after we'll put some fuel altitude and speed in there and whatnot but for now we'll just leave those two empty now we also do need another display part which i'll on right here we're going to have an electrics button this will turn on the fuel pumps and some backlights and whatnot so we'll go electrics just like that and that will just be a oh, what if we go flip switch why not and number two will be a compressor just like that. And we'll put this one on a button on, yeah, I think push button is what we want on number two. Very good. So we still have a little bit more space down here and over this side. So we can add a few more extra buttons and dials in. And actually underneath the compressor button, we might go on number four. We might have like a button to activate the fan on the front. So if we go boost, I don't know, why not? We just call it boost and we'll put that on a toggle button on number four. So what that will do, that will change over actually what we need is a switch box actually so let's go switch box gonna need one of these let's go all the way down we'll just put it next to the clutch why not go right down in here man bonk perfect okay so we're gonna need a couple of constant numbers for this as well Go okay, boing boing just like that so one of these will be one and the other one is zero so one will be when it's switched on and that one will go there that will go over to there and that will go up to the controller when we make it for this that should be a okay very good. So what we might do, we might save this, spawn it in, and have a bit of a look, and make sure we're happy with how this looks. If not, we might come back and fix it up. Actually, what we could do real quick is paint that part just there. Maybe the center of that as well. Why not? Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> anyway, I'll spawn it in, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, here it is sitting over here. It's wobbling around on the ground again for some reason, so we'll quickly go put our wheels out so that doesn't happen. Okie dokie, jump up inside. Let's go in here and push the toggle button. And our wheels are oh, leaning back. Okay, not good. Let's quickly go and put a little bit of weight in the front of this. Actually, let's take this thing back. There we go. And we'll head back over to the workbench. Oh, God. Good. Okay, let's head over this way. Okay, so let's go weight blocks. Even just for now, what if I put them in like a bright green so we know to get rid of them if we need to at some point. 
Uh, we'll just put them right in the nose, why not? We'll just go along like this and just a couple more. Probably wouldn't hurt, just go like that. That should be enough. All right, so we'll save that and we'll try it again. All right, let's go and give that another go. If you're wondering why we don't just spawn it in with the wheels out already, because most of the time we'll be spawning this in the water and we don't need the wheels out all the time. So we'll just leave it for now. Uh, we'll jump in our seat and put the wheels out. There we go. That's that's a lot better actually. <laughs> Sitting right now, good. Okay, so we have all our little buttons around here. These will all be in different spots eventually, but for now that's where they're gonna be. Have our throttle for our compressor. Very good. All right, I don't think that looks too bad at the back there actually. Let's jump into photo mode and have a little fly around and see what it actually looks like. Hmm, I don't mind it actually. It doesn't look too bad once it's on been painted. Yeah, we might just leave it like that actually. Not too bad at all. But anyway, guys, that's going to do us for today. Like I said, next episode, we're probably going to add our fuel tanks and hopefully get this thing started. And maybe we'll try and move around a little bit. We'll see how we go. But until then, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you all in the next video.